Welcome to our continuing series, Questions and Answers, from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Today, Flowers, Part 28, from the Mother. Your soul blossoms to the light as a flower opens to the sun. 30th May. 1956. And the symbol of the tree of knowledge represents the kind of knowledge which is no longer divine. The material knowledge that comes from the sense of division and which started spoiling everything. How long did this period last? because in my memory, too, it was like an almost immortal life. And it seems that it was an accident of evolution that made it necessary for forms to disintegrate, for progress. So I cannot say how long it lasted and where. According to certain impressions, but they are only impressions, it would seem that it was in the vicinity of, I do not know exactly whether it was on this side of Ceylon and India or on the other. Mother points to the Indian Ocean, first to the west of Ceylon and India, and then to the east between Ceylon and Java. But it was certainly a place which no longer exists, which has probably been swallowed up by the sea. I have a very clear vision of this place and a very clear awareness of this life and its forms, but I cannot give any material details. To tell the truth, when I relived these moments, I was not curious about details. One is in a different state of mind, and one has no curiosity about these material details. Everything changes into psychological factors. And it was, it was something so simple, so luminous, so harmonious, beyond all our preoccupations, precisely beyond all these preoccupations with time and place. It was a spontaneous, extremely beautiful life and so close to nature, like a natural flowering of the animal life. And there were no oppositions, no contradictions, or anything like that. Everything happened in the best way possible. Repeatedly, in different circumstances, several times, I have had the same memory. It was not exactly the same scene or the same images because it was not something that I saw. It was a life that I was living. For some time, by night or by day, in a certain state of trance, I went back to a life that I had lived and had the full consciousness that it was the outflowering of the human form on earth. The first human forms capable of embodying the divine being. It was that. It was the first time I could manifest in an earthly form, in a particular form, in an individual form, not a general life, but an individual form. That is to say, the first time that the being above and the being below were joined by the mentalization of this material substance. 
I lived this several times, but always in similar surroundings and with a very similar feeling of such joyful simplicity, without complexity, without problems, without all these questions. There was nothing, absolutely nothing of the kind. It was an outflowering of the joy of living. Simply that, in universal love and harmony, flowers, minerals, animals, all were in harmony. As the mother was leaving, she noticed a brilliant crimson canna flower. Mother. There were so many flowers just like this in the landscape of the earthly paradise. Red. So beautiful. My dear child, the true wisdom is to be ready to learn from whatever source the knowledge can come. We can learn things from a flower, an animal, a child. If we are eager to know always more, because there is only one teacher in the world, the Supreme Lord, and He manifests through everything, with all my love. 9 March, 1967